Hyderabad, high drama in Samaji Guda of Hyderabad, Samaji Guda area of Hyderabad. Police trying to take YSRCP president, YS Sharmila, YSRTP president, YS Sharmila, the sister of Jagan Mohan Reddy, into preventive subsidy. She has been given a call to see Chief Minister's residence. In fact, she asked to get out the Chief Minister's residence and uh, due to that, she has been now taken in to preventive custody. YSRTP president, YS Sharmila, taken into preventive custody. She has been given, uh, in fact, as she has been taken in, uh, detained by the police, it appears the reason being that she has called for a protest where protesters should get out the Chief Minister's house. This is her call. A kilometer away, a police stopped her while she herself drives the SUV vehicle. Police stopped her at the Somaji Guda area. She locks the vehicle from inside. Police tries to break it open, break those locks open and eventually detained her. We know that Vice Sharmila, Vice Jaganmohan Reddy, both uh, siblings, both of them have had political rivalry for a while now. In fact, she floated her own party, YSRTP. So, Vai Sharmila now wanting to protest against the government, her own brother, uh, Jagan Mohan Reddy is YSRTP. She decides to drive the car herself and calls for a protest, um, to, to protest right at the Chief Minister's residence. To, to in fact lay siege at the Chief Minister's residence. This was a call that she gave out to her supporters and soon while she was headed to the Chief Minister's residence, Jagan Mohan Reddy's house, it appears that the police have detained her a kilometer away. Let me cut across to Abdul Bashir, our reporter joining us live from there. Uh, Bashir, a quick word from you on Sharmila being taken into preventive custody. We believe that she had called for a protest to Gerau, Chief Minister Jaganmohan, uh, Jaganmohan Reddy's residence. And a kilometer away itself, the police have stopped her and taken, in, taken her in. Tell us exactly what was the reason for this call to protest, lay siege at the Chief Minister's residence. No, no, no. Yeah, here, yeah, yeah, there is a correction that she has tried to siege a uh, CM KCR's resident in Telangana. This has come up after yesterday's incident where her uh, uh, bus uh, that she was travelling for the Yatra had been set on fire by at least by TRS leaders in Narayan uh, Pet in Warangal district. After which she has called for uh, a siege of a CM Telangana CM KCR's residence. And after which, uh, a kilometer away, she was stopped by the police, wherein she herself has been driving the car when the police had stopped. She locked the doors from inside, then police had to uh, take her along in a crane, uh, where you can see she has been brought to SR Nagar police station here, where she will be taken into uh, preventive custody here. And then, as you can see, the visuals, uh, the police had uh, made se several measures uh, to convince her to move from the way that she was standing in near the Yashoda hospital. And then, uh, now, <coughs> as uh, she had been taken into a crane, her vehicle uh, has been locked, and then uh, the, uh, she had been taken into preventive custody from here. Now, she's, take, she's being taken inside Nagar police station. Uh, that is what we can see here. Uh, now, she, she, she will be moving inside the police station. Right, you know, uh, your clarification on the protest, this is not Jagan Mohan Reddy, in fact, it's KCR's residence, she's uh, in Telangana, where protests have erupted as Sharmila, who started her party, YSRTP, uh, she's uh, agitating against the uh, ruling KCR in Telangana, as she's just about attempts to lay siege at Chief Minister's residence. A kilometer away, we believe the police have taken her in as, uh, as part of preventive custody, only to avoid any commotion. But uh, tell us a little more, Bashir, on the reason for why Sharmila has decided to protest against KCR. And we see those visuals there. Uh, Sharmila has locked the doors of that vehicle from inside, but uh, yet the police trying hard to break into it. They want her out of that vehicle, but she's managed to stay in, lock the doors, and they are towing that car away with her in it. Yeah, absolutely. As you can see that uh, uh, she had been demanding the arrest of uh, uh, the uh, uh, people who were involved in uh, the attack yesterday, after which uh, the, uh, she had called for a protest, and then uh, she had been called for a protest and uh, now uh, she had been, uh, now, now the police had taken her into this preventive custody. So, uh, there, there, there had been several uh, measures that had been taken uh, here uh, for uh, the uh, people uh, that, that we have seen. Uh, that uh, now, the, yeah, yes sir, yes sir, one minute. So, so here uh, now, 
Now here uh, the uh, uh, the Vyasa TV president is being taken inside the, uh, the police station here. As, as you can as you can see that uh, uh, the uh, uh, YSR Sharmila is being taken inside the police station here. Uh, so after after a call given by her, uh, she had reached the uh, the uh, Somaji Guda in, as a mark of a protest here. Uh, we have uh, we have Sharmila who can speak who's, who's trying to speak here uh, through the call. One, one second. Uh. Yes. Uh, as, as you can see, Sharmila uh, is uh, trying to speak here. Yeah. Madam, uh, what exactly is uh, the issue here, madam? If you can say. Madam, what is the issue here that we see, if you can just tell madam, for India today? Yes, 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 yes. She is speaking on phone. Yeah. Yes, sir. Madam, can I give the logo inside? I, can I give? Yeah, yeah, you can, you can speak. Why is Sharmila is trying to speak over phone? We are not getting her voice clearly. I will just try to speak fast, madam, to open speak to one. The light, hey, please don't disturb. Hello? Sir, I am just giving the logo inside. Okay. So here, as you can see now, police are trying to uh, speak uh, with Sharmila and convince her to open the door here. Open the door so that uh, uh, she she can be moved outside. She has locked the doors from inside, and then the windows are up. So now police are trying to speak with her and convince her. Hello. And I'll try to take. Let me clarify, Bashir. Let me clarify for our viewers the visuals that we see on our screens. This is on the right hand side. You have uh, Sharmila who was taken into custody yesterday. We believe she was arrested yesterday as well while she was protesting. On the left hand side, we see Sharmila uh, as we speak. This is live on the left hand side where she's seated inside the car and uh, the police are requesting her to step out. She refuses to and therefore some her windows have been shattered as well. The police trying to make, to break into her car to pull her out for preventive custody. Uh, is that right, uh, Abdul Bashir? We are having two sets of visuals uh, yeah, where she was arrested yesterday yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, the police literally had to drag her out and move her to a hospital in Hyderabad as she was uh, detained. Yeah, absolutely. Yesterday, she was taken into preventive custody after the attack that has taken place uh, during her lunch time around 1.30 in Narayan Pit, where few TRS protesters had, uh, uh, with some inflammable, in, inflame, uh, flammable uh, liquid, poured onto the bus and then uh, set it on fire. However, the uh, accident was averted by the police at the moment uh, they were uh, uh, taken, uh, they, they were moved and then uh, now, uh, the, yesterday she was taken into preventive custody and then released uh, later on and she was taken to hospital because of some minor injuries. And today she had called for a siege of uh, Pragati Bhavan and from Yashoda Hospital uh, in Somaji Guda she had immediately started with the damaged bus that was there yesterday and then uh, also uh, the vehicles that were damaged by the TRS, allegedly by TRS leaders and she had uh, tri tried to uh, siege TRS, uh, uh, the, the Telangana CM's residence, uh, Pragati Bhavan while on the way the police had stopped her and then uh, she locked the car from inside, she herself is driving the car as you can see uh, then police had stopped her and then uh, the uh, cars, uh, she locked the car from inside. Now police are trying to convince her to open the door. Uh, we have reached SR Nagar police station here uh, where she will, uh, she is likely, uh, likely to be taken into preventive custody again today. So right now uh, she is uh, locked the door inside. <coughs> she has not been taken in uh, by the police. Right now she is right, uh, sitting inside the car uh, waiting uh, for the police uh, to uh, remove the locks of the car that had been put. As, let me show you uh, the, uh, the lock that has been put for the front tire so that the car does not move uh, further. And then with the help of a crane, uh, the car was brought here uh, from, uh, uh, from uh, Yashoda Hospital. And now, uh, as you can see, the police are trying to speak with her, trying to convince her uh, to uh, you know, uh, 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 move out of the car so that uh, she can be, the car can be uh, moved away from here and then she will be uh, taken into preventive custody uh, for today. So this is, this, uh, this is the issue that is going on following All right. uh, the uh, attempt that was made by...